Hi there, DW Berman here, just with another lightwave tip, trick, whatever you want to call it. Uh, just We're talking about matte objects today. So I have this scene here where I have this camera flying through this uh, array of towers. These are all instances, by the way. So there's only one object in the scene. Well, two objects, really, but we'll see the other one soon. Um, here's the render from that object, and here's the alpha channel for that object or that render. Now imagine we had re-rendered re this thing and it took forever to render and we decided we really need to stick something here in the middle say something like uh, that. Well we can't just stick that in the middle. Well we could. We could just stick that in the middle and re-render but if it took a long time to render we don't want to re-render everything so how are we going to add this to this? Well you might think just render this element on its own and then overlay the tower over top of it, but you'll notice this alpha channel is, you know, solid, and this object is sticking through the things, and it will be behind everything, not just behind the, the things it's behind. In other words, all these background elements, this, yeah, this object would be, look like it's behind those as well, and that won't work. And that's not a very articulate way of saying it, but that's how it came out, so deal with it. Anyway, uh, let's turn our object back on. Oop. Our uh, other object, our breather, because it's a breather from the James Bond movies. Um, of course, huge in this case. Okay, so here's our render as it is now. It's like, we like this, but we don't want to re-render the whole tower layer. We just want to render this one element. Well, one thing I can do is I can go to the tower element. Remember, this is instant, so this will change on all the towers. I can make the uh, tower a matte object. And if I hit F9, you'll see very shortly here's what it looks like. Of course you can see it looks like there our towers turned to solid black and if I come over to my alpha you'll see hey the towers are still a solid white with this other thing in there. Well what we need to do is we need to change the alpha channel settings as well. So let's change the alpha channel to constant black. Now when we render you'll see that our alpha channel is only the breather with the yeah only the breather is white, and anything that's in front of the breather um, is now black. So if I come back here, you'll see that this other corner gets clipped off as well. So that's pretty cool, and that's mainly what you're going to use uh, the matte objects for, is for making a custom matte pass. Uh, but we can also do other things with it. We can change the color of this, so we can make the uh, objects all one color. and it's just going to be a flat color, so it'll render quickly. There's no uh, shading on it. Uh, let me turn off the backdrop as well. So now we have a black backdrop, and let me make it a light gray, a light, light blue gray, somewhere in there. And let's just for kicks, I'll show you the other way to uh, change something into a matte object. Is you can open up the scene editor, or scene slash dope editor, go to object, render flags, and scroll all the way over to the left, and we have our options over here. And I don't want this to be constant black anymore. And I want to change the breather to a matte object, so I can do that here. And this is the Jovian color picker, it's the free version. So there we have our scene now. It's uh, Now it's more of a stylistic, solid color render thing, which actually looks kind of cool. So uh, yeah, you can do a lot with setting the matte object, setting an object to matte object and changing its color. So yeah, that's the tip of the day. Um, it, have fun experimenting with it. And um, also, take time to check out liberty3d.com. We have some great tutorials over there for sale. Some of them are mine. Look in the uh, links below. And also subscribe to this channel so you can catch these uh, updates whenever I post them. Uh, thanks a lot, and I hope you have a great day.